okay hello your excellencies i trust that you all are enjoying your wednesday i want to specially welcome you all to our bedroom talks of today in fact the topic we have for today is a very wonderful one that none of you should ever ever miss in fact this is one of the videos that you should watch over and over again you know because you need the knowledge that is going to be loaded in today's talk okay so if you have friends that are not actually with us right now why not share this broadcast with them and invite them to come and hear or tell them to come and hear what they have to do or what they have to start doing from now in order to move from that um, open heaven to a closed heaven you know what i mean so please invite your friends right away let them join us right now as we begin to talk the talk so share share the broadcast before we go into today's talk i want us to take a word of prayer god is supreme god is the only one that can actually take us back to virginity because he's the one that created us as women he is the one that knows how to take us back to virginity so i want to welcome this god right now in our midst bow down your heads while i pray father we thank you for this great opportunity to actually share knowledge with your daughters i appreciate you my father for this calling and for this assignment and i ask my heavenly father that you god will come down in your fullness and minister to us women in the language that we may understand minister to us knowledge minister to us wisdom minister to us understanding mm. You say that, that through wisdom a house is built, uh, and by knowledge it is, it, is, it is actually filled with pleasant riches. Uh, Lord, we are asking this day, Lord, that by to, through today's talk, uh, that your God will minister wisdom unto us, uh, minister understanding, minister knowledge, uh, that we may just, we will not just listen to what we are talking about today and take it for fun, uh, but we will, mean, we will hear the word of today, we will hear the talk of today. Uh, and go and practice them and get result uh, as your God has instructed through your servant uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Have your way, sweet Holy Spirit. Uh, speak through me to your daughters and let the will of the Father be established on earth in their lives. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Once again, I say welcome to our special talk of today as i rightly stated um in the flyers uh, that actually brought some of you i told you people that i'm going to be teaching you today uh how to go back to virginity <laughs> somebody is saying how possible is it yes it's very very possible in fact um both technological wise medical wise and uh, natural wise you can go back to virginity <laughs> okay let's dive into it well most of the times we women shy away from sex but we don't know that sex is one of the things that god has created that can actually help us women get back to virginity <laughs> i will explain some of you are now wondering uh -uh, mama how can you know how can penetration how can having sex take me back to virginity i will explain you know when there is a sexual intercourse and a woman gets to organism that is what they call contraction of the pelvic muscles contraction of the pelvic muscles well one of the things that um, that uh, actually uh, irritates a man uh, when you have sex with a woman that will call an open heaven woman you know what i mean by open heaven a woman that her vagina is too open that's what i mean by open heaven okay so when when a man has sex with a woman that has an open heaven you know and the, the man is not satisfied what happened is that uh, the strength of the pelvic muscles has actually weakened okay that's one and then uh, it's not because the woman is not a virgin most of the times is especially if you're a married woman it's not because you're 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 you are no longer a virgin but when the pelvic muscles when the pelvic floor muscles of your of your vagina gets weakened everything gets irritated in fact uh, when when this uh, this particular thing gets weakened your your what they call it your your vulva or, or, or is it vulva or vagina will start dropping 
your womb will start dropping. That's how we call it here in Africa. You see, somebody seeing her womb from her uh, uh, her opening, you will see, you can be able to feel, see your womb even when you are urinating and stuff like that. Uh, but this is not the will of God. God has made sex uh, in such a way that a woman can actually use sex to get back to virginity. And this is my number one tip for every one of you today. When next you are going to have sex with your husband, try and reach organism. Try and reach organism. Organism is one of the ways a woman can actually contract her pelvic muscles and strengthen it from slacking. That's, that's, that's it. Organism. So female organism helps a woman to get back to, or to, to, to virginity. Very simple and straight. Follow me. I might not be giving you much. I just have some few natural things you will do. But these things, a uh, few uh, recipes that you can actually prepare in your houses. But some of the things I'll be telling you today are things that are actually natural, natural tips. Okay? So you can actually get back to organism through, um, you can actually get back to virginity through organism. So don't just have, uh, uh, don't just uh, have sex. I've taught some of you how to make love. You don't, you don't have sex, you make love. When you make love, that is when you can be able to get to organism. Okay? You make love, you get to organism, your, your whole, in fact, almost all the muscles in a woman's body contracts when she's organ uh, she gets to organism. So as the contraction is happening, your womb is contracting. That is why, I don't know if some of you have actually had that uh, a man slept with a woman and the penis of the man was locked up there. The man could not come out. Some of you have actually attributed that, that uh, oh, maybe the husband or the, the woman has done juju that actually made the man not to be able to uh, come out again. No. The, it, most of the times it's not about the juju. It's, it's a natural of occurrence that happens in women and so women when they get to organism they will lock up the man and it is called captivus captivus so they lock up the man in there the only thing that can bring the man out is two of them uh, relaxing themselves avoiding everything again that uh, that is actually related to sexy matters don't kiss don't just relax as he relaxes and the blood goes away from the uh, uh, blood flow stops getting to the penis and the, the muscles of the woman relaxes, the man can easily come out. So when next um, you have such experiences, when next you see people that have such experiences, um, or you happen to have that with your husband or uh, with your husband, please don't panic. It is not a, a demon that has actually afflicted you. It's a natural occurrence that happens in women, especially when... Um, when uh, they, 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 there is a, a, a serious contraction that uh, the pelvic uh, the pelvic floor muscles refuses to relax after that contraction. Okay, so you, you have to just take your time and relax for that muscle to uh, for for two of you to be able to separate. Okay, so you know most of the times we see this in dogs. That's why when you see a, a female dog and a male dog having sexual intercourse, you'll be hearing the male dog shouting crying because the woman has locked him up there okay so it's a natural occurrence so number one tip i've given to you today is that if you want to get back to virginity make sure that every of the sexual intercourse you're having with your husband gets to organism okay in the course of our talk i'll be teaching you some things you can do to help yourself get there that's number one tip and uh, the second tip I, I want to give to you is that uh, medically these days there are so many things you can do to actually tighten the the, 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 the openings of your vagina like when you are giving birth um, to a child and you give birth through tears don't just carry yourself and live like that uh, I, I know that it might be painful for some of you uh, that is true but make sure that the doctor sews that thing that tear back Make sure it is sewed back. If the opening is too open, let it be sewed back. Because if the place is very wide, you, your husband will not, will not enjoy having sex with you. And if he doesn't enjoy having sex with you, you will be the one to suffer it. Okay? That's why most men will just resort to uh, looking elsewhere for a side chic. Some of them will resort to... Um, to masturbation, to watching pornography, to actually ease themselves up. But you as a woman, you are not supposed to be there and your husband will be doing such. So 
work on yourself work on yourself work on yourself uh, there are also uh, other means uh, of actually getting back to virginity you can meet your medical personnel they can actually carry out some sewings as i said they can add uh, even surgery now that can actually put a woman back to virginity okay this is the second one and there is actually uh, uh, right now uh, in the marketplace they have what they call virginity capsules these virginity capsules help to straighten the, the, the pelvic muscles. It helps to strengthen the pelvic muscles. It will have uh, uh, virginity gel, we have uh, virginity capsules, we have uh, uh, virginity capsules and virginity gel. So all you need to do is to buy them. Some of them are natural, so but you have to be very careful about what you are buying. I'm not going to call any brand name here, okay? So go and search on your uh, Amazon, search on eBay, search on uh, uh, and Jumia, Conga and stuff like that. If you're able to get, go to your local stores, shake for virginity gels and virginity capsules. They will, or you meet your medical personnel, they can be able to recommend for you based on your 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 woman, the, how your body is. They can be able to recommend for you what you can do to actually get um, the kind of one that you are, you are actually going to use, okay, to get back to virginity. Now, and, uh, <laughs> some of you don't know that there is what they call Atricia Hymen. Atricia hymen, you know, when, when a woman um, um, gets this virgin, it is actually the hymen that gets broken. You know, most men think that um, <laughs> women are not wise. See, guys, it, I know some of you are some of you that are listening to me right now are men. See, guys, it's not every woman that shed blood during uh, um, her first sexual intercourse with you uh, <laughs> actually means that the woman has not been broken before. So you need to be, you need to wise up. Some of them have been broken before. So don't just capitalize on oh um not just capitalize on uh, saying oh this woman must be a virgin if he's not a virgin I will not marry we have a, what is called artificial hymen it's sold in the marketplace artificial hymen it, they just buy it and they sucked it into the private part like two hours three hours before the sexual intercourse before the whatever wedding whatever whatever once they sucked it the man will sleep with the woman. Mm. The thing will break, the man will be rejoicing. It will come with, ah, my wife is a virgin. Lie, 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 lie. So, we have our quite artificial hymen in the marketplace. And some of you are, are actually conversant with um, cat girl, uh, uh, is it cat girl, whatever you want to call it, cat girl, whatever exercise. Okay, you can actually use that exercise where uh, some exercises that will help you, that will help you to actually contract your pelvic muscles. We have so many exercises that you can do to actually do that when you are urinating, try and uh, uh, pause in between the urine, you know, as if you are seizing the urine pause and as you are doing so you are actually strengthening the, the pelvic muscles and as you are doing that as you know contraction is what you need for your vagina to actually come back to its normal size to come back to its normal shape so as long as there is a constant contraction in that your vagina constant uh, or, or you apply things that will actually contract or, or shrink that place is you're actually going to go back to virginity and um uh, when we are actually doing a kega exercise, you need to involve some diet. There are some food you'll be eating. No matter how you do kega exercise, child of God, you will not be able to go back to virginity. So as you are doing the exercise, you need to involve fruits and some other um, um, food uh, diet <coughs> that will actually help you. That will actually help you, okay? That is very, very important. And... Um, we also have uh, some um, recipes. I'm going to just give you one that I have actually proven. You know, some of you uh, have heard that alum. Alum. Have you heard about alum? Alum. I don't know what they call it in your own language, but in my own language is alum. Go and Google it. So in case you, you maybe you want to know what they call it in your lo local dialect, go and Google it. Go and Google it and uh, you will get to know what they call it in your local dialect. Okay? So alum when you get alum you get warm water put that alum inside the warm water dissolve it okay dissolve the alum but don't put uh, too much alum for a small water uh, it's, it's going to be <laughs> too much for you <laughs> so you get a bowl of water hot water um, warm water sorry warm water not hot water you put the alum inside it the, the warm water will help the alum to dissolve. Wait for it to dissolve till you don't see any pieces of that alum. But if you can actually get um, 
uh, you can actually blend the alum better that's better that's the best so i can actually dissolve very fast so once you do that use it to watch both the inside and the outside of your private part when you finish watching it it will be as if you have washed snail using alum <laughs> so the place will be so dry and this is one of the reasons why so many people avoid using this for um to actually strengthen their vagina muscle they are giving so many excuses so all you need to do is to get a uh, coconut oil coconut oil so all you need is alum coconut oil and warm water so you dissolve your alum you keep ready your coconut oil once you finish dissolving your alum in the water and use it to watch probably after taking your normal beds use it to watch the place inside outside especially the walls of your vagina that's the inside not the outside not the outside actually the inside that's the place that actually determines the tightening or how tight or how loose okay so let the inside of the the, 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 the inside the walls of your vagina be washed with it clean it very well with it when you finish washing it take your coconut oil make sure it touches every of those aspects uh, of the walls of your vagina with that if you have sex you will not be able to get wounded you will not be able to have any kind of a uh, um, scratch and so on and so forth okay so that's one of the major receipts i have for you today okay i will not be speaking much because in, uh, on this platform we don't talk, only talk we also pray so i'll try my possible best to manage our time okay so i've told us how many things right now i've told us about how to use female organism i've told us um, about how to use alum how to get a vagina capsule vagina um, feminine gel and um, artificial hymen is in the marketplace this one is in the marketplace i've also talked to us on how to use um, some pelvic floor trainings like kegel exercise and so on and so forth and when you are doing exercise that to return back to virginity or to make sure your private part is uh, gets tightened you have to actually engage in diets that will actually help and fasting that thing that you are doing to be able to for you to be able to get result okay then uh, we have um, um, an, a particular apple called oak apple I don't know if some of you knows it I know some of you will know that it's called oak apple um, but this oak apple when you grind it when you get apple you grind it you make a fine paste use your blender make a fine smooth paste with it and just apply it on your vagina every day apply it on your vagina walls every day that's how that works as you do that to just help you tighten the vagina so this one if you can get this oak uh, oak apple uh, um, oak apple if you can get it I think I'm going to uh, the, the, the image is up here now so please get this oak apple it's going to actually help you another um, um, fruit you can actually use is what they call the gooseberries gooseberries these berries is, is, is rich in vitamin C and uh, when you when you extract the juice and you and how do you extract the juice please i need to explain this all you need to do is a uh, boil hot water and put the the the, the content inside the boil the, the, the that juice with with water and when you finish boiling it put it in a container okay put the 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 extract in a container then apply it apply the liquid to your vagina before taking your beds apply the liquid to your vagina before taking your bed please don't apply it before exercise it's not going to actually help you you just apply it before you go and take your bed like 30 minutes 20 minutes before you want to take your bed once you do that just apply it take your bed wash it out that's all so today i believe i've been i've succeeded in giving you some wonderful tips that will actually help you get back to virginity some of you might have not have heard about this once before some of you have heard about uh, you using cooking uh, boiling uh, granules you using the water and so on and so forth i know some of you know some of those things that's why i'm not going to go into some general things that everybody knows i'm here to give you things that you don't know that exist 
and I believe I've actually tried on this aspect. But finally, when you do these things and you don't involve God, you are wasting your time. You can end up going back to virginity and yet your husband will still not be able to sleep with you. And that is why we need to pray. That is why we need to pray. Today, I want us to pray for our wifehood. I want us to pray that the Lord will help us. This morning, we are going to be asking the Lord for just two things. You have learned different tips on how to go back to virginity. And the, uh, 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 not actually to virginity in most cases. Some of you might not be able to achieve it, but at least your vagina will get tighter. And when you get you gather knowledge and you don't apply it as a wife, you are not a wise builder. The Bible speaking in Proverbs chapter 24, verses 3, say, True wisdom is an house builded, and by understanding it is established. If your house must be established, if you must not engage in divorce, if your husband must love you better than every other woman in the world, you must learn how to apply every wisdom you have acquired in life and in destiny. So this morning, I want us to pray and say, Lord, I have gathered knowledge today. I have gathered wisdom. I need your help, O oh Lord, in applying this. And as I apply these tips, Jehovah, as a wife to my husband, as a wife to be. Jesus, I ask that you, God of hosts, will return me back to virginity. Return me back to virginity. If you are a single lady and you're praying this prayer, please make sure you don't go back to continue to have sexual intercourse with any other man. Wait for your time. Please, let's open a man and pray and say, Father, as I apply these tips, Jehovah, that I have today, Jesus Christ, you are the one that has the power to do all things. All I ask of is that you God will take me back to virginity tighten this vagina of mine tighten this vagina of mine by your power by your power as I take this step of faith and I put this instruction via the mouth of the servant to walk father tighten this this vagina of mine I don't know how your vagina is looking like right now some of you might be laughing some of you might be joking but I'm not online to joke see was the mother line to joke. Please pray this prayer with the whole of your heart. Whether you believe it or not, please place a demand on God and say, Lord, tighten this thing. Tighten this thing. I need you to help me, Lord. I know it is none of him that will it. If your power does not back up this, Lord, it might not work. Therefore, I give charge to these thieves to work for me. I command these thieves to work for me. Open your mouth and pray. Pray that prayer like a wounded lion. Mm. I don't know what has actually deprived you of your husband, Lord. It might be because through shite bed you have lost the elasticity of your vagina. It might be that the walls of your womb is actually falling out from your, from your private part right now. But I need you to talk to your father. Pray and say, Lord, I am ashamed of even telling people about the condition of my vagina. But Lord, I know you as a father that understands me more than anybody. Jehovah this hour, I am asking that you, the Prince of Peace will come to my rescue. I have had these tips. I have had these instructions via the mouth of your servant as I go and carry them out. My father, give me instant solution. Give me instant solution. Give me instant solution. That I may be proud again to open my legs to my husband. That I may be bold again to open my legs to my husband. Some of you may not understand the realm from which I am talking from. So women cannot boldly say yes to sex anymore because they are ashamed of the condition of their vagina. Pray and say, Father, help me. Lord, help me. I need your help in this matter. Let the angels minister to me. As I apply these tips, as I apply these tips, let the angels of God help me out, Lord. The angels of restoration. Let them restore my virginity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, I pray for you. As you go out to apply these tips, I pray that the Lord Almighty will shine his light upon you and 
cause you to return back to virginity in the name of Jesus Christ. One of the teams that the Lord gave us today. Mm. One of the things that the Lord gave us today that will help us to return back to virginity is tied to our having sexual intercourse regularly with our husbands. But, my child of God, I've come to notice that most of us women shy away from this responsibility. We shy away from our wifehood responsibility when it comes to sexuality. I've seen women that can give their husband millions, they can do all manner of things. But when it comes to sex, they shy away from it. Some of them will say that they are tired, not knowing that even sex can actually help them get back strength when they are tired, when they are exhausted, when they are depressed. Thank you Father for this great opportunity to talk to women again. On this mountain, we shall be talking raw things. Things that will actually benefit you as we pray. Mark I want you to ask the Lord for grace to carry out your sex sexuality assignment to your husband. One of the assignments that God has in mind for sending you to that man is for you to help that man in his sexual needs. We are need meters. If you are not meeting the need of that man sexually, you are a failure as a wife. But that will not continue in your life after today. I want you to ask the Lord for strength in your bones, strength in your marrows. That no matter how tired you are, you will not be able to deprive your husband of his rights anymore. Lord, I need your help in this wifehood assignment of sexuality. Strengthen me, my father, in my areas of weakness. Father, strengthen me. El Shaddai, strengthen me. Adonai, strengthen me. The King of Glory, I need your help like never before. I know it is none of him that will let. I know, Father, that I have so many responsibilities that I need to carry. But, Father, help me not to shy away from this responsibility of sexuality, from this responsibility of meeting the emotional and sexual need of my husband. Mm. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Father, help me. Father, help me. For by strength shall no man prevail. By strength shall no woman prevail. By strength shall no woman prevail. Lord, help us. We surrender ourselves this morning. And we ask for grace, 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 grace. We ask for empowerment. We ask for empowerment. We ask for wisdom, Jehovah, on how to go about this. Wisdom, Jehovah, on how to go about it. Never to stab our husbands again. Again, uh, of their right as wives, of, of their right uh, as their wife, Jehovah, help us. Uh, that like that those, some of us will have to give account to God uh, of how we pushed our husbands away to side chicks. Uh, Lord, forgive us for all our errors. Uh, Jehovah, forgive us of all our errors and help us, my Father, uh, to fulfill this assignment as wives uh, in our time. Never to disgrace you, Lord. Uh, never, Jehovah, to put you down after sending us to this man. Uh, Help us, Father, to show us how to help our husbands uh, sexually so they can be able, Lord Jehovah, to overcome adultery all the days of their lives uh, and live for you and for you alone. Thank you, faithful God, uh, because you, God, has answered us. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Child of God, I pray for you. Father, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice and everyone that will come across this particular clip online. Jehovah, I pray that you go release on every one of them the grace to fulfill their wifehood assignment. I ask that you go release upon them the right wisdom, the right knowledge, the right understanding on how to go about the assignment to their husband as they Partners of sexuality and meeting the emotional needs of their spouses. Lord, release wisdom upon them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. None of these ones, Father, will be asked on the last day, Jehovah. We will be found wanting on the last day. Accountable. None of them will fail as a wife. None of them will fail in their assignment, Lord, as wives unto their husbands. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you for joining me today. 
next week Wednesday is another time in the presence of the Lord and if you have, if you have time every morning please join me on this same channel as we pray every morning 5 a.m. West African time 4 a.m. Um, GMT time and the 12 midnight EST time join me on this channel as we do so and if you have time from tomorrow to the 7th of July we are having a seven days powerful revival and every one of them is happening that same 5 a.m uh, that same morning prayer time so please join us on this channel in our morning prayer sections and be a partaker of that great revival the first second and the third day of the revival is fasting and prayers the first day we are engaging the mystery of the anointing oil the second day we are engaging the table of the, the communion table and on the third day we are engaging on feet washing then every other uh, four days remaining we are engaging in vigorous prayers demanding that the lord should cause our rain to fall our rain of blessings to fall in this second half of the year you can't afford to miss this opportunity tell your friends tell your relations to join us online and let's agree in prayers because the lord has given us an assurance that if two of us shall agree upon touching anything here on earth it shall be established by our father in heaven and i know the lord himself will not fail you as you pray with us god bless you i am your sister apostle maka samralinus see you same time next week as we talk relationship matters god bless you bye